ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're in our house in Spitalfield selling various lots of old, old, tatty, but not unattractive chenille carpets and rugs. This is the first lot, okay? It's seven, um, not, there's only one pair amongst them, chenille curtains from the early 20th century. Some of them are paint stained, some of them have holes in them. I'm stressing this because I don't want any complaints um, when I've described them accurately. There it is. It's about as tall as me. That's probably about six feet long. Can't give you any measurements. It's not one of those days. Um, then we have this long uh, length of, I mean, it's lovely tactile chenille. It is sort of um, holy and um, uh, sort of um, distressed here with the very old braid and ribbon. It's in two pieces. That's been made out of two pieces. This, actually, no, this is a matching pair, I think. Chenille, I will hold one up for you. Um, but this is very, very um, sort of fragile, old, frayed. Um, but I think, you know, if you've got a distressed kind of setting, it could look pretty good. And that's been made out of two lengths, taped together uh, in the early part of the 20th century, I think. Ditto this curtain. This is, I think, a matching one for that one. Um, it's got its, its sort of um, hook things at the top, but it's just an old bit of chenille fabric, thin, worn, um, but not unattractive. And these two are probably the best. These are two um, uh, curtains. Um, again, please be aware, there are stains, paint marks on some of these. Um, these are probably the, the least stained, and they're the brightest in hue. There we are. Um, and there are two of those, again. And uh, there's one there, I'm not going to unfold on the floor. And they're probably, gosh, I don't know, seven, possibly seven and a half feet long. There we are. That's one job lot. Thank you very much. It's buy, collect, you come and pick them up. They're dusty. Come and get them. Thanks very much. Bye.